Hello everyone. I'm Prashant for Neuron. Uh, the video aims to introduce with the features of our new ESP8266 based smart Wi-Fi module and display some quick simple projects with it. Uh, on features, we have loaded smart Wi-Fi sufficiently to be a standalone production ready development module. And all you need is a data cable to start working with it. Now uh, you can access all the GPIOs, connect your sensors and your drives and start on your project straight away. Uh, let's see the setup we'll use for the project on the hardware side. Uh, both projects require only a LM35 temperature sensor and a USB interface. Uh, connected as per the schematic, uh, you can see uh, the board provides power to the sensor and the interface becomes fairly easy. Uh, you don't need to add anything extra to power the sensors. First project, uh, we'll see the simple sensor interface with smart Wi-Fi and show the data on the serial port. Uh, we are using Explorer tool uh, with, to write the code and see the serial output. Uh, you can see the code on the left side and the serial data is on the right. Uh, for changing the values of temperature, I held the sensor once and so uh, you can observe there is a rise and fall in the temperature. Uh, so this is showing that our project 1 is working fine. So uh, now we can move to our project 2 uh, which is make the data available on the internet. Uh, for this, the smart Wi-Fi has to be connected to your router. Uh, we'll use the ThingSpeak API to visualize the data. On the screen is the plot uh, over ThingSpeak and the data is sent by Smart Wi-Fi. Uh, you can see there are values already sent and now I have held the sensor again so the next temperature sh should be higher. I have speeded the video uh, as ThingSpeak needs 15 second gap between the data and uh, here you can get it's 34 same as we can observe on the serial port. On the left is again the code. You can see the values and the same will be getting over things peak. Uh, you can see newer values coming and the same as per our serial port data. So now we have interfaced a sensor and connected it to internet. Uh, this is a cool little module and can do wonders. Uh, lots of resources are already available. Uh, we'll also put many more open soon. And you can develop amazing things with it very quickly. And I'll leave them to your imagination. If you have any doubts or any queries regarding the module, uh, you can write it on mail ID. Uh, it's on the screen. I would love to answer them. And thank you very much for watching the video.